Laughter is the best diverter in dementia units and dementia residents are often saying, we oldies love to have a good laugh. And if you have a good sense of humour, which the dementia residents like, then you're halfway there actually in dementia units because their behaviour will de-escalate if they like you, if you have a good laugh and you have a good sense of humour. Now this works especially well for the escalated female dementia residents, of which in any unit there's generally three or four, especially around showering time in the morning, which no one likes, especially if one's hair needs to be washed. And it can be very difficult to de-escalate the dementia resident enough to be able to do your cares. But if there's a male staffer on board who's able to be part of the equation, often the woman will just de-escalate right down. And it's often the dementia residents, the female, elderly female dementia residents who have behavioural problems, challenging problems, who are distressed, distracted, they really respond to the male staffing members. Positive behaviour and smiling, entertaining patter. Now, some of this challenging behaviour with dementia residents, a lot of it is because of stress and anxiety and anger. But some of this um, distressing behaviour, especially when it becomes demanding and uh, disturbing in particular, when it becomes disturbing with all the shouting and screaming, then that's when it's needed. That's when the male's sense of humour is needed because often nothing else will de-escalate. You know, female staff try with humour, with camaraderie, with laughter, with persuasion, with encouragement, often nothing works. But with these particular women, who are particularly distressed and even up to the level of disturbing, the male sense of humour, if they can click in with that right level of banter, it's just incredible to see how the woman can just de-escalate. So these men have a better time of it um, in a dementia unit because they're not having to deal with women that are demanding full on all the time. But it can be <laughs> challenging for male staff as well, because they're always being called on by the women, the, the staff members, the female staff members, carers, to come and help. Because it can actually be impossible to shower these distressed, disturbing residents in the morning single-handedly. But if you've got another male who can appease the situation, then of course that will help. So this is actually a really practical way in which humour helps. Now, also meal times. That's the second. Well, there's three meals in a day, so that's. But three times. So the showering and the, um, the dressing and the hair washing in particular is probably the most distressing time, for residents in the day. The next, is probably meal times. It can be quite challenging for dementia residents, meal times, because it's crowded for some, it's claustrophobic, it's busy, it's loud, and they can become quite escalated. But once again, if the male staffers, if even if just one male staff staffer is there, one male carer is there, it really makes a big difference. I mean, most dementia residents are absolutely fine with all the female carers and nursing staff because most of them are female 90% of the time. And 90% of the time, most dementia residents are very good with the female staff. But there's those two or three that are the ones that do become not just distressed but disturbing with their behaviour, which can take so much time, energy and effort in the unit to settle down. It really does take time to settle down a disturbed dementia resident. You know, a lot of time, you can't just say a few words and hope they'll settle. You have to really work with them. And so if you have someone that's able to uh, come on board with them in a humorous way that they can connect with, 
it's attention seeking, it's flattering, whatever it is, it doesn't actually matter. As long as the person de-escalates with it, a little flattery goes a long way, doesn't it, from a, a male carer, it always does. And these women especially seem to respond to it. These women that are distressing and disturbing love the male flattery. Oh, you look so lovely, dear, and oh, your hair is beautiful, and you're so lovely, and all the rest of it. <laughs> just seems to sort of pop that ego, well, no, inflate the ego, actually, but de-escalate the anger, whatever it does, some equation there. Anyway, it works and it's good. So it's always good if there can be one or two males, um, staff in a dementia unit. It really does help, you know, for de-escalating these women, for helping if there's other issues with falls, with residents that get angry, with men that get angry. It's always helpful to have an, another male member there, staff member to help. So I've written on all these topics in these two books, The Resident's Voice and The Resident's Rise, both from a dementia unit and on my website description below. And thank you for your support, likes and please subscribe.